best fan, you gotta be loud, you gotta be creative, you gotta come early, you gotta know, you know, you gotta support your team, you gotta be good at getting in the other team's head a little bit. We have to do it with class here. Becoming a true blue fan is not an overnight experience. It's a long-term commitment. Cougar players even had some ideas for what kind of fan they'd be. Hey, my face and, you know, <laughs> have a bunch of crazy signs and you know, I'd definitely be a crazy fan if I was here and I'd probably yell the whole game. Yeah, I think so. You know, I think I have to be one of those crazy fans, you know, just loyal, going all out that you see two face painted, you know, one face blue, uh, the other side of my face white or something crazy, you know, just to show my support, you know, for the team and just, you know, try to have as much fun as possible. Well. I'd probably be one of those front row intense fans, you know, scout the other team, get all the information about them, and just start yelling at them the whole game. So if you weren't playing, you'd be camping out, right? Oh, definitely. I'd be there since Monday. The funny thing is, fans started camping out on the northwest side of the Marriott Center right after the San Diego State game. The Deseret first duel brought out the true fanatic in all these students. Wait, students, right? Don't they have classes? We have a shift schedule that we've set up where we have people that will be taking, uh, taking shifts as we go to class and as we uh, uh, make sure that everything's covered, so. I'm just taking my shift from 4 to 5.30 at night, so Got not bad scripture. considering, yeah, doing a little Book of Mormon homework, so. Uh, Robbie, the guy that we're with, he actually set up a, a Google Docs spreadsheet, uh, and then we just linked it to all of our friends, and if people wanted it, they would just put on there when they could. It made it a lot easier than having to call people and text people, so. Fans finally started piling into the stadium with their all sports passes. Hours before the game, the student section was packed as the rest of the stadium was empty. The players recognized how important they really are. Uh, that's just a big influence because that's real big for our team. You know, we don't have to just get energy amongst ourselves. You know, our crowd provides good energy and we always have a good crowd here. So, you know, that's real good, especially when we get out making baskets. You know, the crowd gets involved, we get involved. And, you know, this place is nice. Especially when you're at home, when you got the whole you know, fans cheering for you. You just feel more motivated and more emotion to go out there and play as hard as you can. Oh, it's great. You know, my favorite part I'd say is, you know, they provide a lot of energy when the game's online. Um, you know, people say a lot, like, you know, fans are very important. And, you know, I don't know if they know that, but they really are because, you know, when you have an opposing team in here and the fans are loud and they're getting on them, you know, it kind of affects them down the stretch. Elmo and Noah have their favorite cheer that they always hear as well. Um, I'd probably say my favorite cheer is when somebody fouls out. You know, the whole left, right, left, right, chest, sit down, you know, that's real cool. And I, I think that's a good thing that fans came up with. For me being, you know, playing the post, getting those block shots, I like hearing the you got swatted phrase. That's my favorite one. The Whiteout fans were loud during the game. Some proved themselves to be diehard fans, and some changed their ways due to superstition. Either way, they helped the Cougars to a big victory. I painted my face for Wake Forest and we lost. I'm a little bit superstitious. Yeah. I'm not wearing the so shorts I, I wore for Wake Forest. Usually I have the, the same shorts, but after we lost, I yeah. can't wear them anymore. Turned things up a little yeah. bit, but we're still supporting the wideout. We're excited for that. Kids have been camping out here since Tuesday. That's devoted fans for you. This is the best place to become to learn how to fan. I mean, am I right or what? Yeah.